Mr. Mayor, first, welcome back to Sunday Mornings with the Mayors. Thank you. This week, let's talk about something on a slightly lighter note. Mm -hmm. The city here seems to have a very bright economic future. And as the mayor, that is obviously something that you're intimately involved with at every stage, uh, managing the community's growth and being its best cheerleader. Right. Uh, can you talk a little bit this week about uh, what you've heard about economics and how the city's post-recession outlook Sure. Well, you know, a couple of factors and, and pieces of information. The good news for Madison last month in, uh, in, in the January time frame, our revenues were up about 5%, a little over 5% versus the year before. Um, so, so we have seen a, a slight uptick in, in the revenues. That's positive. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we know we've set ourselves up for uh, success in using this downtime um, while it's been slow. Uh, our economic development specialist, uh, Amy Ferfori, and her team continue to uh, bring uh, all the different opportunities that we have into one database. And my job as mayor, this, this my, my, my top priority, in addition to the other things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, is to create um, a, additional economic development. We need more businesses here to support our residents. It's quality of life issues and businesses that make it where you can stay in Madison, um, and that revenue in turn supports Madison. So I think we've made a significant impact there by uh, putting it all on a database and, and on our website, uh, Amy managing it on a day-to-day -day basis, and then using me as the mayor to, to help her as she needs the different entities within the city to support bringing these businesses here. Um, one of the other areas I think we've made a big difference on is tying the road projects that we have to economic development. What you're going to see this year in the city of Madison, three primary intersections are going to be redesigned. They'll be safer, which is critical, but they'll also be designed to improve the opportunities to bring businesses there. Hughes in 72, Wall Triana in 72, and then Wall Triana on the south side down at the Madison Boulevard I-565. All of those are going to be redesigned and that in turn is going to help enhance economic development. We already have businesses that say, okay, if you're going to make that a five lane, make it easier for me and to get, to get people in and out of this particular lot, I may be able to bring a business there. So we're tying the two of those together. We're focused on it every day. And what I think is most important is people need to know is Madison's open for business. We want to help you bring a business here that's going to enhance our residents' quality of life. Madison has always been thought of as kind of one of the major bedroom communities for Huntsville. People sure. live in Madison, but they work on the Redstone Arsenal, or they work in Huntsville or somewhere else. Uh, how does the city of Madison move out of the shadow of Huntsville and establish itself uh, as a, an independent, vibrant city with its own identity? That's a great question. One of the best things that we've already done, and it happened long before I took over as mayor, is we established our own school system. Our, our school system is so strong, and it is the driver when a, when, a, when a family moves to this area and they're looking from an educational standpoint, Madison sets itself apart as, as a strong academic um, success that parents can utilize to better their kids' education. What we now have to do is build off of that strength and bring the businesses here that are sometimes in Huntsville, but a long way to, you know, for, for residents to get to, to Huntsville. So, you know, a movie theater, a skate center, uh, the, the restaurants that, that uh, the upscale restaurants, you know, the developments that have, uh, say, a, a big box store or two or three, where right now you have to drive someplace else to get it. So, what we're looking to do is build off of the asset that the schools have, that, that the population that's now here, we're, we're a town of over 40,000. You start meeting some of the demographic, demographic requirements that a lot of these retailers have to bring a business to your area. So the primary thing is you focus on it. You, you, you make sure that you have someone every day who wakes up who is focused on bringing those businesses here and being the primary contact. Madison now has that and so we're going to continue to build off of it. When you delivered your recent State of the City mm -hmm. address, you uh, delivered it inside the uh, uh, Space and Rocket Center, uh, Center for Space and Exploration. Sure. And one of the comments I think you made was that uh, when you told the people that were planning it uh, how many people that the venue should seat, they moved it to the 
that venue because you didn't have a venue that size in the city to deliver the state of the city address. Exactly. Now, is that something that uh, might motivate you to want to build a center or a venue that can host events of that magnitude? Well, there, there's, there's no question about that. Um, when we held the state of the city address at the Davidson Center, it was done because there isn't a place in Madison large enough to do that. So without question, it's one of the areas that we must focus on to make a difference in. You know, the gr one thing about Madison that I've learned is we are probably one of the few cities, if not the only city in the southeast, that is going to be building a hospital, a high school, and a YMCA this year. You think about the economic downturn, and, and when you start, we are, we are kind of in a bubble in this area because of the strength of BRAC, the success of Huntsville, Research Park, and then Madison fits into the puzzle as, again, the, the, the bedroom community that's closest in proximity to that. With those three destination spots, we now can build off of that, and we will. Um, so the, the, the great news for the City of Madison residents is that we have destination spots that are already uh, either break, ground is broken or they're getting ready to, to continue that. And now, as you have those destination spots, businesses start you know, building up around it and we have someone to focus on building that. So a convention center would be one more destination spot, but it's desperately needed in our town. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you.